Happy Monday, guys. Uh, I know that uh, getting up on a day like today after a Raiders 10 to 38 or 38 to 10 loss to the Buffalo Bills, it ain't easy. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't necessarily think that there's a lot of you know hype around this franchise right now because of everything that's been going on. But you know what? I, I, like we've put out the last couple of videos, you know, as far as the positivity goes. I'm just happy that football's back. I know that things aren't great right now. You just come off a big loss to one of the best teams in the AFC. But overall, I think that there's a couple things you got to take away from this. So obviously, yes, Jimmy G and the offense couldn't sustain a drive. You couldn't run the football. That's a big area of concern. The offensive line looked horrible. But also, it's the fact that the defense couldn't get off the field. The Buffalo Bills had the ball for 60% of the game. I think the time of possession was like 40 to 20 overall. Like So that's kind of both ends of the sword. You couldn't run the football. You couldn't get off the field on defense, and things got tough. So I think as far as running the football, I think the offense will get that figured out. But I think as far as the defense goes, there's a couple different things you can do to turn this whole thing around uh, and not necessarily um, – you know, have to reinvent the wheel if you're a coaching staff. So, first off, I think uh, it's as simple as signing a player. Guys like Linval Joseph, if you look at a guy like Patrick Graham and his history as a head coach or as a defensive coordinator, excuse me, he has had that one guy in the middle that is just that stud at defensive tackle, whether it's been Dalvin Tomlinson or whether it's been Christian Wilkins. You know, he's had that guy, no matter where he's gone, in the middle that goes and makes plays for you. Uh, and I think, honestly... You know, uh, or Dexter Lawrence, not Devin Tomlinson, I apologize. He had Dexter Lawrence and all that, uh, you know, really commanding in the middle and doing a lot of different things for him. And I think as a defense, you need that guy. And if I'm being honest, if you look on this roster right now, I'm not sure I see that guy. I think you need to bring in Linval Joseph, uh, who would be relatively cheap. I think I think Akeem Hicks would be a, a really good solution to getting this running game shored up. So, you know, I think it's as simple as sending an older player that can really help out some of these younger guys. Maybe it's also playing more guys like Byron Young, who who uh, played relatively well uh, given the circumstances, um, despite the fact that the Raiders' defensive line just got worked uh, yesterday. Uh, number two, trading for a young stud. Now, this one I think is something that could happen a little bit later on in the season, or you know, especially if the Raiders are sitting around that 500 mark, or maybe a little bit below, a blow or above, um, because. Make no mistake about it, the pressure is always on as a head coach, and I think Josh McDaniels knows that. So could you trade for a guy uh, at defensive tackle like Christian Wilkins? I, th I definitely think so. Again, the overlap there uh, with a guy like Patrick Graham. You know, could you go out and, and make a play for, you know, Quinn and Williams? I doubt it, but I, I, I mean, it would be really cool to see. But, you know, there's other guys you could trade for that would make uh, a little bit of sense. You know, Grady Jarrett for the Falcons. Uh, you know, uh, Dalva Tomlinson from the Browns if things aren't going around. So, you know, if you want to go ahead and make uh, sure that this defense is uh, getting short up. You need to start with the defensive tackle room. I think that's where it all goes from there. Um, number three, it's be more aggressive slash creative. So you need to be able to bring guys uh, in blitzes. You need to be able to disguise things. Maybe that double A gap blitz. I mean, uh, between Robert Spillane uh, as well as Divine Diablo, I love this linebacking core. I really do. Maybe it's getting more guys like Amari Bernie on the field who played really solid in the preseason. Uh, but overall, you need to disguise looks. You need to bring pressure because when the Raiders brought pressure yesterday, Josh Allen felt it yes did so you know do you die by the sword if you bring the sword sometimes absolutely but that's a risk you have to be willing to take in the nfl especially if you just don't have the personnel uh, to sit back in coverage and be able to make plays so you know yes guys like nate hobbs did get eaten up a little bit but overall uh, i think that the raiders bottom line was better when you were blitzing when you were being more creative bringing divine diablo who had a sack bringing guys like robert spillane who had a sack you know and, and i think it makes life a lot easier for the rest of these d linemen when you're more creative as well more guys can get freed up and and make plays and then you just count on your secondary guys like Marcus Epps and I, again I love Nate Hobbs I know he got burned a couple of times yesterday but overall I think it was just a bad day you have those in the NFL so hey be more aggressive be more creative get these guys in positions to be successful and then finally number four I think is coaching there is nothing more demoralizing than having a team like the Bills just continually on the field, never getting off and going for over 100, 450 yards and 38 points. Like, that is completely, uh, it's hurtful. It really is. But as a coach, as a, a guy that comes in and is sitting in front of these grown men, you need to be able to sit in front of them in a meeting and say, they straight up disrespected you. This needs to be a chip on your shoulder for the Raiders the entire rest of the season. Everybody needs to be pissed off heading forward, like moving forward. Everybody just needs to be mad because of what the Buffalo Bills just did to the Raiders uh, yesterday. I think that just needs to be a huge point of emphasis for the coaching staff. Hey, they disrespected you. They don't think that, that you deserve to be on this field with them. You need to go out there and, and prove them wrong. So I think that there's a lot of things that the Raiders defense could do, um, you know, potentially personnel-wise. But overall, it just comes down to coaching. I think that is really what it comes down to. So, hey, uh, at the 
the end of the day, let us know what you guys think, though. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, like we said, that's what helps people find the show. But at the, at the end of the day, let us know what you guys think about how the Las Vegas Raiders can turn this defense around.